Um, Hendo, thanks for joining us. A um, couple of days on now from the, the Witness game. Uh, yep. Obviously not the result you would have liked, but how do you reflect on the performance um, looking back at it now? Yeah, look, obviously the result was disappointing. You know, we wanted to get off to a good start in front of our home fans and, and, and get a result. But, you know, look, but I understand where we're currently at as a, as a group and as a team. And um, we've had to face a little bit of adversity as, as a group. Um, you know, but I thought there were some real encouraging signs, you know, certainly regarding some of our defensive display and defensive effort. Um, I think some of those effort-based areas too were, were abundant to see and I think the, I'm sure the fan base that were able to see the game live would have seen that that team was committed and, uh, and working for each other and, and working for the, for the badge. So, um, so overall I, I was pleased with certainly the effort uh, from, from the players from, what, from 1 to 17 um, but yeah it was probably more the, the, the ball control uh, at times uh, let us down and at crucial times. Uh, and then I think you know the fact that we lost a, you know a half back in James Cunningham in that first half certainly disrupted us a little bit, um, and uh, yeah we just probably didn't execute that attacking game plan as 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 we sort of prepared and planned beforehand. So yeah we got a little bit lost there at times uh, throughout the game, and um, albeit yeah we still uh, you know saw some you know, glimpses of some nice attacking stuff, but we we probably weren't executing what we we'd set out to, to execute, but. But overall, look, you know, we understand that as coaches, we've looked at it and we know that there were certain factors and certain reasons that probably hindered uh, the way we played. Um, but ultimately, like I said, you know, I was really, really pleased with, with some of the effort-based stuff that we saw there. You know, I thought that the team, you know, certainly was committed and, and, and showed that desire to win. And it was just unfortunate that our execution let us down and, and just a couple of key errors from our back five, you know, hurt us at crucial times too. So... Yeah, we'll, we'll learn from that uh, and make sure that we're, we're better prepared uh, for this week because uh, we're going to have an, another tough uh, ask against Bradford here at home. So, um, Obviously, I know it's, we're speaking on Tuesday, obviously training tonight. Um, might be too early to tell us how James Cunningham is and uh, yeah, what his situation is at the moment. Yeah, look, we're, we're sending James in for a scan, so we haven't had that, that scan uh, done yet. He's been booked in for this week, so uh, once we have that done, we'll, we'll get some more information and then we'll be able to make a, make a call from there. So at the moment, he'll be getting assessed further tonight uh, at training um, to see if what sort of improvement has been made or hasn't been made. Mm -hmm. uh, and then obviously once we get our results from our scan, uh, that'll obviously determine the, the, the injury, uh, the nature of the injury. Uh, and then we can obviously put a plan in place from, from there. Yeah, uh, and I know when we spoke previously, said potentially a few more bodies back for for this week. Yeah, yeah, hopefully, yeah. So obviously, sod's law though, isn't it? You know, we get James Cunningham in, and, and he's gone in the in the first game, which is a shame. But uh, I'm hopeful there that we might may have a couple more back uh, this week. You know, I know that um, there's a couple of guys there that are really close to uh, to being back available. So fingers crossed. You know, we, we have no hiccups uh, over these next few days uh, during the training week and. Uh, we may see a couple of a couple of new faces in this week, which will be a huge boost for us uh, and, and help us certainly for come Monday. Yeah, and just talking of new faces, Levi Edwards signed this week on a three-year deal. I know yes. that's uh, caught a lot of people's eyes. Yeah, you must be delighted to get to get that one over the line and to get him in the squad. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, look, really, really pleased uh, to, to have that one done. To be honest, I think it's been pretty common knowledge that we've only had one recognised centre at the club uh, so far. So it was important that we, we found the right person and the, and the right player that was going to be the right fit for us. And uh, obviously we've been in conversation with Leeds for, for a number of weeks now uh, regarding Levi uh, in terms of his availability. Originally we were looking at potentially a loan move for him, um, uh, but then we just obviously tried to accelerate that by asking the question and saying, listen, you know, he's off contract in 12 months. You know, what are your thoughts on this? And I know that they've sort of recruited quite a number of outside backs uh, this season too. So um, I think that's what's presented the opportunity for us to, uh, to attain his services now. I'm just really pleased that, that Levi feels that this is the place for him too. You know, he's an exciting young talent. Uh, we know that. And I think the All fans have obviously experienced some of that last year. But he is still young and he's still in that development phase. So, um, you know, we've still got a bit of work to do with him. But that's the exciting thing for me as a coach is he's one that we're, we're looking to, to build around for the future and, and what we're trying to do in the future. So, um, But like I said, for the here and now, it's certainly a welcome relief that we've got another outside back and, and, and that him being a centre is even more of a, uh, a welcome addition for us. So uh, look, really, really excited to, to be working with him and, and hopefully we can fulfil his potential and he can fulfil his potential here during his time at uh, York Knights. Yeah. Uh, Bradford, the opponents on Monday night here at the Alanya Community yeah. Stadium. Uh, what are you expecting from them? What have you seen of them? And obviously, the, only the one game, but what have you made of that? Yeah, no, look, I th yeah. again, I think they've got a, you know, they've got the nucleus of a good squad there, and um, you know, I think they made some really good recruitment decisions in the off season, brought in some really quality players to, uh, 
yeah, to what was already a, a you know a decent team there. So um, you know, from what I've seen of them so far, you know, they've got some some quality players in those the halves. You know, they've got the, you know Deck Patton, who's you know. He's won things at the highest level. He knows how to how to get a team around the field. You know, Tom Holmes is a, is a genuine threat as well with the ball, and and Jordan Lilly as well. So, yeah, you know, they've got some good halves there, some good nines, and um, you know, Jack Walker at the back too. He's uh, you know, like I said, he's a an established Super League player, and um, you know, I think yeah, they've got a good balance of youth and experience. You know, Michael Lawrence and Bodine Thompson are you know, really important for for them as a team as well, and and I can see that you know they they're really leading from the front for Bradford at the moment. So yeah, we, we, we'll. We'll have our work cut out, there's no doubt about it, but I'm also confident with how we're preparing our team and, uh, and what, we need, what we'll be trying to deliver on the night, that we can do that, um, the, the team that is selected to go out there. And, and, and hopefully, like I said, for me, it's about improving on, on what, we've, what we've seen last week. You know, that, that's, the, that's the challenge. You know, we, we weren't at our best last week. You know, we, we did some really good things, um, but there were some things that we, you know, we probably let ourselves down with and, and we just need to make sure that we're a little bit more consistent for longer periods um, in those areas, and then hopefully that will be enough for us to get the get the result. Um, I'm not sure how much you've seen of the previous history of this fixture, but some really tight matches, some some classics really over the years since yeah. 2018 when the yeah. two clubs went for the League One title. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah no, I know there's been some, some rivalry there, and uh, like I said, yeah, we, yeah, we welcome that in rugby league. I think sometimes we we've lost a little bit of that, haven't we? You know, uh, in the modern era. So no, I think it's important that we have a little bit of that, and it just adds more spice to the occasion and to the atmosphere, and and for the fans as well. So. Uh, no, it's, it's it's great, and uh, but again, I think it's going to be again another tight contest because you've got you know two teams there that are obviously hungry to to, to keep moving forward as clubs and, and as teams, and um, you know uh, for us we need to we need to bounce back after the defeat and get a result. Bradford are going to want to build on their on their win on the weekend as well, so you know, there's plenty of motivation there for both sides, and I, I'm sure it'll be a cracking game. I know, I know that the club have invested too with the, the pre-match entertainment for the fans and things like that, and we've got the TV cameras on show too so it, it's going to mark for a, a great occasion and a great night and I'm, I'm just hopeful that you know we can deliver the level of performance I know we're capable of uh, and get the job done. Yeah, I was just going to ask about that actually the via player cameras here uh, yep. on Monday night as well I know you were part of the coverage um, for the, the Keithley uh, uh, Featherston game yep. um, yeah I guess that brings another extra element to the match. And, of course uh, it yeah. does, of course it does. It's, not, it's more exposure for, for us as a club and for the championship competition as well. So yeah, we welcome that, that, that coverage and exposure. So at the end of the day, it's about getting the brand out there as much as we can and, and growing it and also actually growing the competition and growing the, growing the game. So yeah, we're really f uh, fortunate to have via play and, and, and those other platforms that, that do, uh, you know, create a, a platform for our game to, to, to be seen by other people all across the world. So, no, it's fantastic. But uh, like I said, we need to make sure we put a show on for the cameras this week, Jacob, that's for sure.